How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. You look great. Thanks. I feel <laughs> great. Uh, what's your name? My name is Chanel. Where do you live? I live in Newark, New Jersey. And what do you do for a living? I am a risk reduction counselor at an HIV um, AIDS drop-in center, and I also do photography. Awesome. Yeah. And um, what brings you out today? Um, I was coming back from visiting a friend, and I was going to go last night to Wall Street. I know they're having a poetry thing, because I do poetry, but I was really exhausted from visiting my friend in the hospital, and I was visiting her again coming back, and I decided to stop and see what was going on, and, you know, I've been watching it from the computer and from my phone, so I was like, actually wanted to be in the midst of everything that was going on and, you know, be yeah. a part of the action. Yeah. So, um, what, how would you like to see our society change? Can you there's, pinpoint there's, one thing? There's so many things, but for me, the bottom line is love. I feel like if we had love at the root of everything, we wouldn't have none of these problems. There wouldn't be poverty, there wouldn't be hunger, there wouldn't be greed. If we all loved each other and genuinely cared, we wouldn't have any of these issues. But there's a lot of love. Like, we need to get back to love. There needs Word. to be a love movement. If Word. we all loved each other, things would be a lot different. You know? Word. We need you in our movement, sis. <laughs> Come to. I was gonna go to that poetry reading too, but it got a down, there was a downpour, so yeah. it didn't happen. Yeah, it was getting the rain was getting ridiculous, and it looks like it's about to downpour. Yeah, but that again. won't stop us. You, you it know. doesn't. I've, I've seen mattresses and pictures. I was like, these people are real. It's serious, and that's good. Yeah. Because they think that it can intimidate us, and it's the government is for the people by the people, and if we don't want them, we have the right to overthrow them. And there's no reason why things have gone as far as they have, and we've allowed it to. And there's been so many different things that have been going on across the world. Egypt, like, so many, like, people in numbers that are taking control and fighting back. And it was only about time before America just started, you know, saying, you know, fuck this. It's time for us to stand up. I mean, this country was founded on revolution. and was founded on, you know, fighting. And I think that at least go down fighting. Don't go down... <laughs> like, I'm like, like I feel. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I just have to see her. So no, that's awesome. But no, I feel that you know, if we're gonna go out, we should go out with a fight. You know what I mean? And I feel that nothing is done in vain. Something will change at one point because I'm pretty sure they didn't think that it was gonna become this big. I'm pretty sure they didn't think that there was gonna be this many people so strong and just like not moving or budging. And it's it's starting to shake them up. They're yeah. getting a little worried. They're it's making them uncomfortable, and that's good. Will you define the word fight to me? Fight, it doesn't have to be anything violent. It's about standing up for what you believe in no matter what. And so what, are, what are heard. like non-violent ways to fight that you like? Non-violent ways, because I don't fight. Um, just this, period. Like the chanting, the walking, the, the signs, you know what I mean? Just making your voice being heard. And then the fact that we live in this day and age and like everything happens for a reason. Like this technology has its purpose because if it wasn't for the technology that we have, we wouldn't be able to spread the word as fast as we are. You know what I mean? Like yes, I we were on horses and saddles. It would take people days to get up here. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But the fact that we have cars and subways and Facebook and Twitter and cell phones and, and cameras, you know what I mean? It, it allows us to be able to commune much quicker and be able to come in numbers like this. Right on. Oh, my battery just died. Oh, it's okay. But I got most of what you said. <laughs>